You ready for St. Louis? Checkmate. Chess, a recreational and competitive sport played by two players. Sometimes called Western or International Chess to distinguish it from the older Chinese version, Shang Chi or Elephant Chess. The game is actually pretty cool as it represents a battle between two armies with the objective to capture the enemy's king. Today, chess is one of the world's most popular games, played by millions worldwide at home and online and in these crazy competitive tournaments. I didn't realize it was so big, like literally. We ran into the largest chess piece at the World's Chess Hall of Fame in St. Louis, Missouri. And then tucked behind the largest king piece in the world was the entrance to a pretty cool museum that let us in on the history and some great abstract art. The art was definitely a nice touch to the handcrafted boards and abstract creativity by like four regional artists. One of those artists, Keith Herring, his exhibit, it was an original called Radiant Gambit. Although I didn't too much understand why this guy was all, all fours. I don't know, it was crawling or something, but if you do know, please school me. Let me know in the comment section below. Now, there's a security attendant on every floor telling you not to touch anything. I'm always wanting to touch stuff. So I think she saw me like kind of put my finger up and she was like, ah, let me let her know now. Anyway, some really, really cool contrast as you walk throughout this three-story building. Uh, one that was most controversial was, his name was Ido Rosenbiths Flesh and Fire uh, Chess and Hell piece. It hung on the center wall on the second floor. I mean, look at this. It's an image of two figures trapped in an endless chess match with only one major piece to play with. No, not that piece, <laughs> the white king. I did have to double take a few times and stare once I really focused in on the paint. The detail is crazy. I don't know, you, you have to see it in person. Either way, you won't be disappointed because St. Louis has so much to offer. So if you don't like that particular art and have no interest in chess, then check out stuff like The Great Awakening, Pinocchio, The Hollow Head, or you can just try and unzip the zipper. So we missed a whole bunch of stuff that we'll, we'll add later, I'm sure. But anyway, you can't do St. Louis in one day. If you have any places that you recommend, go ahead and drop those in the comment section below. Let's go. Is anybody there? Did you like my stuff yet?